Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. This one, I want to talk about what is it about Japan? Why do I love Japan so much? Because my channel, the premise behind my channel, essentially, and the reason I make most of my videos these days is because it's something to do with Japan. Anime, my travels in Japan, working in Japan, topics and areas of interest regarding Japan. So I want to talk more about you know, me and myself regarding what what is it that does it for me in terms of Japan and maybe that'll give you guys watching my content or maybe a new subscriber to my channel um, just to kind of have some more kind of information because you're thinking I don't know I get the impression that I maybe give off the fact that I'm a bit of an otaku and I'm just a bit of a Japanophile but I want to kind of dispel that and I want to kind of give you guys a bit more of a detailed look if you are interested in that kind of thing I hope so I don't know the main question the first question people want to know or will be asking or expect me to answer would be why Japan? Like, what is it about Japan that you love so much? And to be honest, um, it's a bit of a long-winded answer so I'll try to keep it brief as I can but when I was about 10-11 years old I started to become interested in anime um, after being exposed and kind of introduced to Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Um, I started to become very interested in anime as a whole and through that I just started to watch anime in Japanese and I wanted to understand more about the Japanese language and anime in general because they both came from Japan and so that's really interesting. I want to find out more about this country because I just know literally one thing, anime. Um, then I start to understand more about the language and then I think, okay, this is interesting. I want to find out, I want to research more about this country. And so I, start, I do my research and I start to understand more about Japanese culture and that becomes interesting to me and then on top of that I start to research and even try and appreciate the Japanese food. Now it's kind of become a sphere of interest. Before it was simply just one thing, it was anime, nothing else. But through anime um, I became you know more open and receptive to other forms of Japanese stuff. It's developed into a uh, well, a forever interest for me because now I'm 27 years old. It's been about 16, nearly 17 years or so. Essentially, that is the best answer I can give you. And I think also it does stem from Japan being the home of video games, being the home of anime, being the home of hentai. I mean, what? You know, it's just really comes down to all most of my passions in life they they revolve around Japan I feel that I can kind of identify and relate with Japan and to Japan um, more so than I can over here and also I really like um, the food the culture the people um, the actual you know country itself it's very beautiful and everywhere I go it's just always an interesting experience a new experience and so, for me, I I don't feel I can ever get tired of Japan. Also, regarding um, cultures and things like that, UK culture and then you know living here in the UK and just being used to the environment, the people, and everything that comes with it, Japan is so wholly different and also almost opposite, reverse in terms of all of these things. So for me, it's a fresh of breath air. Why do I always say that? A breath of fresh air. I meant to say. And it's just infinitely more interesting for me to understand more about that country, to live in that country, to, to visit that country, to spend time in that country. I don't feel the same way I do about Japan that I do, you know, do here. The UK is my home, sure, but I don't feel I've got anything else to do or see here. But in Japan, I feel that I've got every day that it could be a new experience in terms of I could see something new, I could try something new, I could do something new. Um, and that's what I'm really seeking in my life right now and I feel that Japan gives me what I'm looking for. And even having lived there, visited, visited a few times now, um, having made friends there, having had a girlfriend there, to be honest I'm really grateful that for having those experiences I'm able to then put these thoughts and feelings down into videos to put on my channel and also um, to have these life experiences that I can look back on and cherish. To answer the question, why do I love Japan? Um, which I think I already did, actually in quite a great depth of detail there. 
Um, I feel that it just comes down to the fact that I see so much of what I love and so much of where I want to be and what I want to do in Japan. Like, I don't have that sense of feeling here in the UK. I mean, it's my home here, sure, but it's not where I want to call home. And I believe I hopefully can be back in Japan in the future. And in that sense, I'm then able to put out more videos and I'm also able to kind of maybe expand on the answer that I've given you guys in this video. And I really hope that I've given you enough, helped you understand more about me and why it is I love Japan so much. So, of course, it comes down to personal feelings and I guess there's people, you know, who will claim they love Japan more than I do. There's people who maybe don't like or have any interest in Japan in the slightest. It's fine. But this is my opinion and this is kind of my kind of feelings and I'm hoping it's kind of coming across and it's coming across as genuine because really I don't think I love a lot of things more than I love Japan. <laughs> I mean, I, I love my girlfriend and my family, sure. Yeah, I, I, I probably shouldn't elaborate any more than I already have. But essentially what it comes down to is I feel a connection. Um, I feel at home. I feel at my best when I'm there. And so I really hope that I'll have that chance in the future to go back. And if I don't, I'll buy my time. And in the meantime, I'm very grateful for the opportunities I've had to, go, to have lived there and to visit there a numerous amount of times now. And yeah. I guess I'll stop now because I'll keep on talking if I don't. I really appreciate you guys' time in watching this video. Um, I look forward to hearing what you guys think. And please look forward to my next video coming very soon. Catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.